Congratulations. Congratulations, GED grads. Everybody, congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations to all 2020 graduators. Happy GED grad day. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys are awesome and we're so proud of you. Congrats. Quiero felicitar a todos los graduados por su gran esfuerzo y dedicación y que el día de hoy están cumpliendo uno de sus grandes sueños. Congratulations, GED graduates. You did it. Congratulations to all of our GED graduates this year. Class of 2020, you did it. Woo! Congratulations, graduates. Way to go. Congratulations, you did it. Congratulations, graduate. I wish you all the very best. Felicidades. Felicidades. Wilson says congratulations too. Hi there, Debbie Rollins, Program Manager from the KFC Foundation. Happy GED Grad Day and a special congratulations to all KFC GED Works graduates. We are proud to partner with GED Testing Service to offer the GED Works program and we're super excited to join in this day of celebration. So cheers to you, all your great work and congratulations once again. Keep moving forward. On behalf of all of us at GED Testing Service, congratulations and happy GED Grad Day. We are so proud of you and want to acknowledge all the hard work you have put into earning your GED. Your determination and perseverance is an inspiration to each and every one of us. Earning your GED is a major accomplishment and opens the doors to endless opportunities. Thank you so much for sharing your success stories and we look forward to seeing all of the great things that lies ahead for each and every one of you. Take care, stay safe, and let's celebrate. Congrats, GED graduates. Um, this is a great day for you, and I'm glad to be here with you to help you celebrate it. My name is Dr. Kira Burt. I teach physics at Spokane Falls Community College, and I also received my GED. I dropped out of high school mostly because I had really severe anxiety that I was struggling with that was not properly treated at the time. If it wasn't for GED, I would still be in high school and still be getting bullied. I didn't really know how to handle it when I was getting bullied. I would go home and cry after school or tell my parents all about it and they would be devastated. Then my parents and I decided to put me in the GED program and it was amazing. I completed GED program and I am a GED graduate. I am very thankful for everyone at GED because if it wasn't for them, I don't know where I would be today. I graduated with my GED credentials December 3rd in 2019. My future goals is I want to go to college, so for Calhoun Community College and then upward to a four year university. I want to go into psychology and actually help people with issues that they're dealing with mentally and emotionally because I know how that feels. Maybe not all of it, but everybody needs a helping hand. So dropping out of high school was not an easy experience. It was definitely a blow to my self-esteem, which was already not great because I was dropping out of high school. And so being able to get my GED and being able to have that symbol of success was very important to me. And one of the reasons I was able to do that is because I had a really supportive role model at home in the form of my mom. My mom got pregnant with me when she was 16. She didn't finish high school either, but she went ahead and she got her GED and it took her 10 years plus, but she eventually got her bachelor's degree and her master's degree. So I had a fantastic example in front of me, even though I was personally struggling I had someone who had gone through similar problems and was always on my side. I got my GED about two years ago. My goal was to get it because when my mom passed away, she always wished that I would go back and complete my studies, so I did. When I passed my GED test, it was an amazing feeling. My big motivation had to be my daughters. Now I can show them that nothing in life is impossible. I did not speak English, so I had to learn. 
and I'm still learning every day. I always remember my mom's word. It is never too late to learn. If I can do it, you can do it. So I did drop out of high school and I did get my GED and my plan was to immediately transition into college and finish with or ahead of all my peers and I had a lot of grand ambitions but I was still struggling with the same issues that I had in high school and so my path did not go as expected. I didn't actually return to college until I was 25 but I did return and I couldn't have done that without my GED. Being a mother and a grandmother, I want to be an example and show my family that anything is possible. Something was holding me back from my dream and it was not having finished high school. At age 50, working six days a week as a single mother, I made time to go to class to prepare myself to take the DGD exam. I did it and passed. Couldn't feel any prouder of my accomplishment. I was able to get my GED at the age of 47 and that allowed me to get the job I had always wanted with the York County School Division in Yorktown, Virginia to better myself and my family and it was all because of being able to get my GED. I really had confidence issues when I went back because I had been out of school for so long and because I didn't graduate high school and I felt that maybe I wouldn't be able to go to high levels in any field. So I started in chemistry and I actually changed to physics because of a really encouraging professor who said, you are really good at this and you need to do it. And so it's important to have people who can support you. Hi, it's Pratt Nakhil, case manager with the CEO program at Shoreline Community College. Just wanted to take a second to congratulate all the GED graduates, GED recipients. Um, we are very proud of you and we look forward to working with you again in person soon. Thanks. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the Madison College GED graduates of 2020. This year was a year filled with uncertainty, but there is one thing in my mind that is never in doubt, and that is that our students are incredible and will always find a way to be successful. Hello everyone, my name is Carolina. I'm one of the GED Works advisors. And one thing I love about my job is being able to celebrate with you once you earn your GED. Hi, it's Lori from Marchman Technical College Underage GED, congratulating Mason and Dylan on recently passing. Great job guys, congratulations. Can't wait to see you walk across the stage. Hi everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2020 GED graduates. My name is Christy and I'm the Student Service Coordinator in the Adult Education Department here at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellyn, Illinois. And I'm here to personally congratulate you for all of your hard work and success in obtaining your GED this year. We know it's not easy and you're truly an inspiration to others. In big picture, physicists just study the basic laws of nature and how it operates. I was a particle physicist, so I worked at the big collider outside of Geneva, Switzerland. And so what we do is we smash stuff together until we recreate the conditions of the Big Bang, and then we study what comes out of it. And it's fun, it was a lot of fun. So I did a lot of programming. I did a lot of grunt work with screwdrivers pulling crates apart. Um, I helped assemble machinery. I analyzed vast data sets. I did all kinds of really fun work. So, and now I teach, which is just as fun. I just want to say that I got my GED last year at the Technical College in Calhoun, Georgia. And my plans for the future is to attend college for the next two years to get my associate's degree in early childhood education so that I can be, be a pre-K teacher for young kids and also to show my kids that college is important to be able to make it in this world, to be able to get a decent job and to make something of themselves. If I can do it, they can do it too. So one of my favorite parts about the beginning of every academic year is I get to introduce myself to students. And I get to say, I actually attended community college. I actually started with the GED, and this is the path that I took. And it's this huge gotcha moment. I get to watch the looks of surprise on their faces. 
Um, but it's not just surprise because a lot of people will come up to me after this and they'll say, I didn't even know this was possible. It's like, I didn't know that you could drop out of high school and then go to community college and then, you know, continue on to do research and get your PhD. And it's absolutely possible. And I'm not the only one that's done it. So I'm really glad that I can be there to answer their questions and also just show them kind of what you can do with a GED as a starting point. So what's next? I want to become a counselor. I want to become a doctor, something else that I might find interesting in life. And I know that I can do it now. My future goals are to, you know, higher education. I want to, I want to get a bachelor's and then master's, and uh, I want to do big things. I want to change, change the company I work for from the inside, change the programs and everything. Uh, my next step is going to be my new career, accounting. So I'm so excited about that too. My future goal is to get into culinary school and to. Um, start the process of owning my own bakery shop. My future is going to look like the American dream. Yes, I want the house and I want the career. I do, and I deserve that. I work very hard to obtain the GED. My next step is college. I have been trying to get my GED for six years and I finally did it. I have been accepted into the nursing program, which I'm gonna start classes in fall 2020. My future plans are that I want to get me acquire a CDL license to start to drive, and then from there, I want to get me some clerical computer some computer skills, and maybe eventually, you know, venture out into that field of trying to be a coder and stuff like that. So, sky's the limit. My future goal is to graduate college, to become an auto mechanic, and I am grateful for the GED course because it helped me get there. What's next?